Joel Momberg, well known for his roles in the community at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital and now the USF Foundation, is also an author of mysteries. He joins me today to talk about his newest book, which is loosely based on his own father. Here it is right here. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Sammy is the Sammy. name, yeah. which is your dad's name as well. My dad's name as well, right. You're a busy man. I, I am, I am. What oh, number good. book is this for you? That's number two. Number two. Oh, number one took me half my life. <laughs> This one, this one was quicker. <laughs> you said the first one is a mystery. We were trying to describe what this one is because, yeah. again, it is loosely based on your father. Yeah, yeah. His and, love for his mother and, and the, that iconic bucket list that we all have. Right, right. I kind of termed it as a coming of age uh -huh. for an 86-year-old. Oh, I love that, though. Uh, yeah, it's and there's some mystery in it. There's mystery and there's a little bit of intrigue. There's humor. Uh, there's sentimental stuff. It, yeah. was, it was a tribute to my dad, for sure. Well, and talk about the journey that this book takes us on, because I know it goes back to New Orleans as well, which is your roots. Right, exactly. I, I grew up in New Orleans, and so did my dad, my mom. And uh, my, my dad and mom came to St. Pete. Actually, I, I brought them here right pri prior to Katrina, mm -hmm. and they lost their home, and they stayed here, and they, they were in a nursing home. And uh, it, it really is a tribute to both of them. I, I, my dad especially, um, it, it, was, it was kind of a sentimental journey for me. He, he had some things that were unfinished, mm -hmm. as a lot of folks do yeah. when they get to that age. So I started it as a tribute and, and did a lot of his background about New Orleans. My mom had passed away and truly in the story, and it's true, he had her in a little urn in and his takes, room. And takes her with him on this journey. Right, and he decides, and the, the fiction part of it, that he's going to go on this little bucket list and he de develop, de decides to do a little scheme on how he can get money and get out of there <laughs> and meets all kinds of interesting characters. And it's uh, it's got some twists and turns, yeah. but it's a fun journey. Well, and I love the idea of this kind of bucket list. And I don't know <laughs> when you're writing this, does it make you kind of think about you've obviously had oh, this? Oh, sure. You know, sure. this, this uh, very successful life here in the Bay Area. I've done lots of things. I mean, does it make it make you look at your own life and go, well, wait a minute, have Absolutely. I done everything I want to? Am I going to have to go on a journey when I'm when I'm older? Sure. And I've been very fortunate. I've been blessed because mm -hmm. we've we've had a, a great life here. Uh, but everybody does. Yeah. I think, you know, no matter what what all you've done, you always think, uh, you know, there's some bucket list stuff. Writing for me yeah. is a bucket list thing. So it's I'm getting one of them done. Um, but it, it's uh, it, it's just those things that are kind of left undone. In this book, Sammy's Journey, it's not only what uh, he wanted to do and what my mom wanted to do. There are some things that he had to get done, and you find out about it as you as you go through yeah. this. Tell me a little bit about your background. Of course, we mentioned it a little bit, but sure. I want people to kind of fully understand what it is. Kind of your fingers have been in a lot here in the Bay Area. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about your story and, and when you actually on earth have time to write. Well, that's kind of interesting too. I, I, I started uh, years ago in the early 70s. I, I got to St. Pete as a teacher, mm -hmm. but my background was advertising also. Um, but I, I got into teaching. I taught seventh and eighth grade. Uh, I fortunately wound up through connections at all children's and uh, at that point in time, the hospital was still a small yeah, little you helped, house, you hospital. Helped raise money to, well, to I, build the new hospital. I helped, yes, and I and I um, I'm proud of that. And uh, moved on to do development. We finished a campaign, and then yeah. USF hired me. Thank heavens, it was nice. <laughs> and so I've been there for about ten years. Yeah. So I'm, I'm running the foundation, and we just finished a, a billion dollar campaign. Yeah. It's it's been phenomenal. But writing is a is a passion for me. So on weekends and whenever I could grab time, I try to do that. What's next for you? Do you think another one uh, is in the works? I've got a bunch of them coming. Okay. Yeah, as, as long as this is working, I, yeah. think, uh, I think I'd like to do a few more. Well, you said the response has been awesome. Everybody who's been reading this, it's I mean, I know you're phenomenal. so taken back. Yeah, of course, they're all relatives, but they yeah. still say it's good. <laughs> so I believe Where can people get this, by the way? It's on Amazon, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, online. Uh, or if they want direct and they want an autographed copy, I do have my own website. Okay. It's JoelMomberg.com. We'll make sure and put that on our website as well. Beautiful. Happy New Year. Same to Good you. Good luck on everything. Keep us posted on your Thank next you. project, okay? Me here Thank too. you so I much. It. And like I said, we'll make sure and put that on our website as well.